Welcome back to WWH. My name is Andrew Dreamer. Ready to scream, squirm, and maybe even shed a few terrified tears? We're diving deep into the darkest corners of cinema to rank the top five horror franchises of all time. We're talking iconic killers, bone-chilling stories, and sequels that just won't die. Get ready to debate, defend your favorites, and maybe even discover a new nightmare to keep you up at night on this episode of Ranking Rumble. Horror movie franchises have a unique grip on our imaginations, tapping into our deepest fears. They often feature iconic villains like Michael Myers, Freddy Krueger, or Jason Voorhees, whose terrifying presence transcends individual films. These franchises weave intricate storylines, expanding on the lore and mythology of their characters and universes with each installment, with varying degrees of effectiveness, obviously. The enduring appeal of horror franchises lies in their ability to constantly reinvent themselves while maintaining the core elements that fans already love. Sequels, prequels, reboots, and spin-offs offer fresh takes on familiar concepts, introducing new characters and storylines while paying homage to the original films. This allows franchises to adapt to changing tastes and trends, ensuring their relevance across generations. Beyond the scares and thrills, horror franchises provide a sense of community for fans. They spark passionate discussions, inspire fan theories, and create a shared experience that transcends cultural boundaries. Whether it's debating the best installment, dressing up as your favorite villain for Halloween, or simply bonding over a mutual love for all things horror, these franchises offer a unique way to connect with others. For this list, I chose the franchises I gravitate to the most. The ones I can just turn on at any time and watch. As always, this is just my opinion. If your favorite franchise isn't on the list, just put it down in the comments and let me know why you love it. Grab your popcorn and make your way to your seat because we're heading down to the ring now. Starting us off at number 5 is going to be the Evil Dead franchise. This franchise is definitely one of the most consistent in terms of quality. It began in 1981 with the eponymous film. Created by Sam Raimi, it initially focused on a group of friends who unwittingly unleash evil forces while vacationing in a remote cabin. That's disgusting. I don't know why you'd want a vacation there, but whatever. The franchise quickly gained cult status for its blend of over-the-top gore, slapstick humor, and unflinching horror. At the heart of the series is the Necronomicon, a powerful ancient text that serves as a conduit for demonic entities known as Deadites. These Deadites possess the living, turning them into grotesque, murderous creatures. Ash Williams, played by Bruce Campbell, emerges as the unlikely hero, battling Deadites with his trusty chainsaw and his boomstick. The franchise expanded with sequels like Evil Dead 2 and Army of Darkness, which further explored the comedic and fantastical elements. The series also includes a 2013 remake, a television series entitled Ash vs. the Evil Dead, and most recently, Evil Dead Rise. While each installment varies in tone and style, they all share a love for outrageous horror and a healthy dose of dark humor. The Evil Dead franchise remains a beloved and enduring part of horror cinema, captivating audiences with its unique blend of scares and laughs. By the way, don't forget to body slam that subscribe button so you never miss any of the heart-pounding, chill-inducing five-star matches we have here at WWH. We're not just wrestling with horror. We're delivering it to your screen every week. All right, let's keep the show moving now. Coming in at number four is the Friday the 13th franchise. This franchise began all the way back in 1980 with the original film, which is widely considered one of the weaker entries. While the original focused on a group of camp counselors being stalked and killed by a mysterious person, later revealed to be Mrs. Voorhees at Camp Crystal Lake, the franchise quickly shifted its focus to her son, Jason. Jason, initially thought to have drowned as a child, seeks revenge for his mother's death and terrorizes anyone who dares venture to the camp. The franchise expanded with numerous sequels, each building upon the mythology of Jason and Camp Crystal Lake. The sequels often followed a very familiar pattern. A group of unsuspecting victims arrives at the camp, unaware of the danger lurking. Jason then systematically hunts them down, utilizing various creative and gruesome methods. 
The sequels varied in quality and tone, with some leaning into the classic slasher formula and others experimenting with supernatural elements or even venturing into space. Some notable entries include Friday the 13th Part 2, which actually introduced Jason as the main antagonist, Friday the 13th Part 6, Jason Lives, which resurrected Jason from the dead, and Friday the 13th Part 3, which gave Jason his iconic hockey mask. The franchise also includes a crossover with horror icon Freddy Krueger. Despite its often repetitive nature, for the Friday the 13th franchise remains a staple of horror cinema known for its brutal kills and the enduring image of Jason Voorhees. Next up at number 3 is the Hell House LLC franchise. This one might be a bit of a surprise on a list like this, but I just I love this franchise. I have so much fun with each of the films. This found footage film franchise is relatively new beginning in 2016. It follows a group of friends who convert an abandoned hotel into a Halloween attraction only to unleash a terrifying evil that leads to their demise. The film, presented as recovered footage, unfolds the events leading up to the tragedy and leaves you with a genuine sense of unease. The franchise expanded with sequels and one film that acts as part sequel and part prequel. Each film delves deeper into the mysteries surrounding the Abaddon Hotel and the dark forces at play. Each installment follows a different group of individuals who encounter the hotel's horrors, often through the lens of documentary-style storytelling. The Hell House LLC films have garnered a cult following for their immersive atmosphere, unsettling imagery, and effective jump scares. The found footage format adds a layer of realism and immediacy, making the terror feel a little bit more visceral and personal. While the franchise may not be as widely known as some other horror series, it has grown in popularity and established itself as a unique and disturbing addition to the genre, offering a haunting exploration of the supernatural and the darkness that lurks within seemingly ordinary places. I would even say it may have potential to move up this list in the future. Coming in at number two is the Halloween franchise. That may be a bit of a shocker considering how much I love Halloween, but its placement here will make more sense in a few minutes. The original Halloween was released in 1978. Directed by John Carpenter, it introduced the world to Michael Myers, the masked silent killer who terrorizes the town of Haddonfield, Illinois on Halloween night. The film's suspenseful atmosphere, minimalist score, and terrifying villain quickly solidified its place as a classic, as well as serving as the catalyst for the slasher genre. The franchise has since expanded with numerous sequels, reboots, and reimaginings, each offering a different take on the Michael Myers mythos. While some sequels directly continued the story of Laurie Strode, the original film's protagonist, others explored different timelines or offered alternative interpretations of the character and his motives. Some of the notable entries in Halloween are Halloween 2, which picked up immediately after the events of the first film. Halloween H2O, it actually brought back Laurie Strode and completely erased the Thorn trilogy from the canon. And then there's Halloween 3 Season of the Witch, which had absolutely nothing to do with Michael Myers. Still a great film, though. The 2018 version of Halloween also ignored all of the previous entries other than the original. Wasn't it her brother who, like, cold-blooded murdered all those teenagers? No. That's just a bit that some people made up to make him feel better, I think. Despite its convoluted timeline and varying levels of quality, the Halloween franchise remains a beloved and enduring part of horror cinema. Michael Myers, with his iconic mask and relentless pursuit of his victims, has become one of the most recognizable and feared figures in the genre. The franchise continues to evolve with new installments planned, ensuring that Michael Myers' reign of terror is far from over. Alright, we're coming up on our final entry in this ranking rumble. First, though, we do have to take a short break, so stick around for more WWH action. If you're looking to save 20% from Redcon 1, all you have to do is type in code ANDREWDREAMER12 when you're checking out, and you will immediately receive 20% off. Also, head over to ProWrestlingTees.com slash ANDREWDREAMER to check out our new t-shirt. Go pick yourself up one. They look really good. And last but not least, head over to Patreon and consider becoming a member of the WWH universe. We got some really cool perks there and we would love to have you. Our number one entrant in this ranking rumble is going to be the Scream franchise. And the main reason this is my number one is the fact that I consider this to be the most consistent franchise in terms of quality. 
I love each film in this franchise. There's not a single one that's bad in my opinion. I understand that some people won't agree with that, but that's just how I feel. Scream was released in 1996. Directed by Wes Craven and written by Kevin Williamson, it revitalized the slasher genre with its self-aware humor, meta-commentary on horror tropes, and suspenseful whodunit mystery. The films mostly follow Sidney Prescott, a young woman repeatedly targeted by a masked killer known as Ghostface. The franchise has spawned five sequels and a television series, each featuring a new Ghostface killer with their own motives and connections to the past. The films often delve into the psychology of the killers and the cultural obsession with violence, blurring the lines between reality and fiction. The series is known for its clever plot twists, shocking kills, and the recurring question of What's your favorite scary movie? The Scream franchise remains a significant and influential part of horror history. It has garnered a dedicated fan base and inspired countless imitators, cementing its place as a modern classic within the slasher genre. The series continues to evolve with a seventh film on the way, bringing Sydney back after being absent from Scream 6. There's obviously some controversy surrounding this upcoming movie, but that's, that's a video for another day. I just wanted to talk about the franchise as a whole. So, there you have it. Those are my top 10 favorite horror franchises of all time. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite franchise is. Check out the links in the description as well. There's some really cool stuff there. Also, if you enjoyed this look at some horror classics and their sequels, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you never miss any of the action here at WWH. And remember, in the squared circle of horror, there's no count out for nightmares. My name is Andrew Dreamer, and this is Wrestling With Horror.